let's talk about some books that I'm going to recommend to you for the fall season and also some books that I want to read during fall let's get into it guys I am literally royally bad at intros and I really hope you don't hold that against me because I have a lot of work to do about that but let's just get into it so some books that I think you should read this fall now keep in mind I'm kind of going through my fantasy era so there's going to be a lot of fantasy wrecks I tried getting some that were necessarily just fantasy, but just bear with me. Starting with, try to recommend some books that I don't always recommend on my channel because I feel like it gets a little repetitive. But I feel like I haven't done a books recommendations video in a while, so it should be fine. Starting with the Inheritance Game series, I had to start with one that I had talked about a lot. So this is a little bit of a mystery love triangle series. This is actually the second book. I can't seem to locate the first book. But this one is a, it's a YA series so it can be read by a younger audience. It's about this girl that ends up getting this inheritance from this really random rich guy in Texas. And this guy has a bunch of grandsons and there's a little bit of a love triangle. There's a mystery. He left like clues and stuff for them to figure out some mysteries and puzzles and things like that. And it's pretty, it's a pretty fast paced series and really entertaining. And it gives you the perfect fall vibe. So I definitely think you should read this. The Cruel Prince series. I feel like this fantasy series who kind of have a little bit more of a modern setting and go back and forth between the fairyland and the modern world or such fall books. This one is about this girl who has to go live with the guy who killed her parents. He lives in the fairy world and there's a prince that's like really mean to her. It's like cool the cool the cruel prince. And there's a love triangle. There's not a love triangle. There is an enemies to lover type of book but it's not really emphasizing the romance as much so i'm going to expecting a lot of romance but this book is just perfect for the fall it's a pretty fast-paced read it fonts pretty big it's a really short fantasy read this is a new favorite of mine this is one dark window by Rachel gillick i literally have a whole reading vlog on this book i just uploaded i think two videos ago this one is about this the magic world is really interesting this one is about cards so essentially cards can be can infect you with this disease and there's the king always tries to get rid of everyone who has been infected this girl is infected she has this like voice in her mind that tells her to do things she has this like powers there is romance in this series there's a very gothic like setting and the ending has a massive plot twist the setting is just fall honestly just wait until the air becomes a little crispy where you're at and start reading this it wouldn't be a book recommendations video if i didn't recommend magnolia parks something about this series just screams holiday season i actually read this two falls ago and essentially this is about the elite group of i want to say early 20s or teenagers from London that have a lot of drama going on. Think about Gossip Girl in London and I'm gonna leave it at that. Then we have Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is the first book on this, I think it's gonna be a trilogy. This one gives you Alice in Wonderland vibes. You've got this really fairy tale like setting. It gives you all the fantasy vibes ever. And it's very, it's, it's probably one of the most fall books ever. I also read this, I think, last year during the fall. And the next book is coming out next month. So, like, hurry up and read this. It's one of the best books I have ever read. I'm gonna try to go through these books as fast as I can because I don't want this video to be super, super long. So, if I don't give you enough information on this book, just feel free to comment down below. And I can try to expand my explanation on this book a little bit more. And you can read my comment. But I don't want to spoil it for you guys. And I also don't want to go into too much detail. So, we can go through them a little bit faster. But just trust me on the fact that every single book that I'm recommending is gonna be a fall setting or a very fall vibes book there's a lot of construction going on around me so there's going to be probably a lot of background noise nothing i can do about that so let's just maybe get past it if you can if not i'm sorry i can't really control their schedule next we have the natural series you might not recognize this cover because i think recently they came out with new covers it's also by jennifer lynn barnes the same author who wrote the inheritance game series this one and just think about criminal minds in a ya setting you have the whole fbi situation you have the academy ish setting where they're learning 
how to master their talent you've got to love triangle jennifer lynn barnes is just so good i love triangle i will say though that the girl never ends up with a guy i want her to end up with so keep that in mind but this series is super fast paced anything mystery just gives me fall vibes so definitely recommend this one this book it took me finishing this book to actually appreciate it because I finished it. I think I, the first time I read it, I gave it like a 3 out of 5 star. And then I thought about it for a very long time and I realized how much I actually love this book. And it became a 5 star read for me. I actually really want to reread it. I want to get a UK cover though. It's really cool. So this one is about... It's set in Ireland and something about books set in an Irish setting screams fall to me. The show on Hulu is also very gloomy, so it's about this girl, she's like not a popular girl at school at all and she has a little bit of a fling with a popular guy from the high school. There's just like a lot of angst in this book. It's not your typical romance to go into it, it's more like, it's more, it's leaning towards fiction a little bit more than just romance. But it's one of the best books I've ever read and you gotta read it this fall anything with a new york setting screams fall to me this is a second chance romance it's set in new york they go to college in new york he meets this girl that kind of introduces him to her new york, new york world it's a very artsy book because i think that's what they're in, in college i think she's like photography or something like that the second chance romans which is not my favorite ever actually went so hard in this book i couldn't recommend any more next we've got the bodyguard by katherine center i don't remember a lot about this book i feel like it's not as memorable as i thought it maybe was when i first read it but i do remember it reading it it gave fall vibes when i read it like a year ago so this one i think her writing style has been compared to jane austen i don't know how accurate that is but this is about this really famous guy that needs a bodyguard and they end, she ends up getting a female bodyguard and she's like this petite woman who thinks that uh, can't protect him and stuff the romance in this book is so sweet there's no spice in it and yeah it was just a very fun read then we've got the best book i have ever read this is my all-time favorite standalone fantasy i had ever read it's called heartless by marisa meyer this one is an alice in wonderland retelling but it's not about alice it's actually about the queen of hearts and i'm gonna leave it at that i will say this book is very sad and i'm actually planning on rereading it this fall because i just need that pain again i don't know why but i need it but the elephant in the room we've got four wing yes i am one of those highly privileged people who ended up getting these sprayed ages edges i purchased this book as soon as it became popular and i read it when it started blowing up a little bit more so fort wing is about this academy where they train people for different talents having to do with fly dragons and i think scribes and things like that there is an enemies to lover trope in this book and it's a very fast-paced fantasy i will say though that they do use a lot of modern language so don't expect a super poetic writing style but it's definitely full vibes anything dragons screams fall to me those are all the books that i'm going to be recommending for you guys to read in the fall time and we did have a little bit of a lighting change here i think the sun's just really it's really cloudy right now but now let's talk about some books that i want to get to during the fall season i filmed a fall tbr video not that long ago but honestly i'm such a mood reader and i need to have more books in my radar that i, I want to get to during the fall the thing with me though is that i'm also on a huge book buying ban right now i can't buy any books for the entire month of september i Tenika already bought a lot of books during September, so I'm trying to hold off until October. I can't purchase any more books until October 1st. But we're in a book buying ban, so let's talk about some books that I want to read in the upcoming weeks and maybe even during October. With these months, this month, this monster, we've got A Course of the Flames by Sarah J. Moss. This is the last book that's currently out in the Aquatar series, and I'm currently 272 pages in. I think I started reading a blog where I wanted to finish Aquatar. I have no idea if I even still have the footage. This book is so heavy in my hand right now, like, it's just huge. I think this is pretty self explanatory. I'm not gonna go into these about what this series is about. I feel like everyone knows at this point. I really wanna finish this because I really want to read Crescent City. 
and the Barnes and Noble edition is screaming my name. I feel like I'm probably going to broke break the book buying ban and just get Crescent City the special edition because it's killing me. I need it. So we've got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I really want to read a classic during the fall. I feel like something about Jane Eyre. Any Char any of the Bronte sisters' book just screams fall for me. I'm actually on page 32, but this is gonna take me forever. It's one of those books that I'm just gonna read a few pages here and there. It's a classic, so I'm not really gonna explain what it's about. But if you know any of the Bronte sister books, you know they give you that fall vibe, and I just really wanna get to this. I really wanna read a historical fiction before the fall's over. This one was sent to me as an arc, and I like the font's huge, and I just love that about it. It probably will go by super fast. It's like 400 pages, but the font's just like huge. So the cover is stunning. I don't even like real people on the cover, but this one is just stunning. I saw this at Barnes & Noble's like a few months after I got sent it, and I really want to read it. It's just killing me, honestly. The author is Kate Thompson. I'm pretty sure I've seen this lady on TV. She's a journalist. So this is, I don't really know what this is, but I think it's, it's called The Little Wartime Library. So I'm guessing it's a World War II setting historical fiction book, and I really want to get to it. I want this to be my introduction to historical fiction because I really want to read a Christine Hanna book but I don't think I'm emotionally ready for that yet so I really want to read this one then we have Rest and Relaxation I actually read 68 pages of this book I don't know why I stopped reading this but this book screamed fall last year and I literally had this exact same haircut last year when I was reading this which is insane but this book screams fall to me i really like her writing style i feel like this could be kind of a palette cleanser honestly and i want to get into more fiction this year so i really want to read this one books are literally the same book in a different font we have if we were balanced by emma rio and then we have the secret history i am working on a video where an author picks what i read for a week and she picked this book for me so back then when I started that video, I read like 100 pages of it and I stopped because I stopped filming that video but now I have to literally start from scratch. When I decide to finish filming that video, I'm going to go to Secret History. So this one is a Dark Academia book. I still haven't gotten to any Dark Academia. I couldn't tell you what this book is about but it's a very pretentious book although I remember loving it when I was reading it so I don't know why I stopped. That's a big mood reader problem, but this one, I just know they're obsessed with Shakespeare in this one But it's kind of similar to the secret history because they're obsessed with like Greek mythology in this one Or anything Greek history, so They're literally the same book. This one is a way older book and I think Donna Tartt might be coming with a new book out She literally only writes a book every 13 years, so I mean let's just fingers crossed because she's amazing we want to get to so when i read kiss the sky by kristen Beckerishi, i actually didn't have the physical copy i want to get to the rest of the series when i can purchase every single book in a physical copy because i have most of them on my kindle right now so i this is, has been my favorite book so far in the series rose and connor are my favorite couple and i'll die on that hill so i really want to reread this now that i have the physical copy and maybe annotate it so we'll see if i get to it and then lastly i want to read my first frederick backman book this is bear town i'm pretty sure this is a hbo show now literally says right there i don't know why i said that even though it's, it literally says on the book really when i get to this one this one i know there's hockey there's like a snowy town setting this actually screams winter so maybe i'm not gonna read this until christmas time but there's some mystery somebody gets killed or people get killed there's hockey, there's some teenage boys, there might be a little bit of romance in this. I have no idea, but this is the author who wrote Anxious People and I really want to get to that too, so we'll see. This is to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy my book recommendations. Let me know if you want either a part two or if you want me to get into some winter recommendations in a month or so. But also, hold me accountable to reading all these books that I keep saying I'm going to read during the fall because I really want to get to them. Yeah! I hope you guys enjoy and make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.